down with our business. The American people are still incensed over the sinking of several American vessels by German submarines while America was still neutral. We issued public warnings that neutral ships carrying arms and supplies to our enemies could be targets of military action. So no laws that I know of were violated. What did you expect? That Germany should allow these supplies to reach our enemies? Neutral means just that, neutral. Now when the, that term is used to conceal military contraband. Those were civilian vessels carrying non-military cargo. Uh, which included guns, <laughs> ammunition, and bullets, bombs and the like. We know this was the case. Your information was faulty. Obviously, you were misinformed. No, we were not. Our sources were reliable. We obtained the actual manifest that listed the items those vessels were transporting. You were using civilians as cover. The United States did no such thing. Oh, you did. You just won't admit it. Probably because you don't want to uh, weaken the legal case you're trying to put together against Germany. I received numerous reports of excesses committed by Allied troops in the field. Yet we never saw fit to use that information to dehumanize you. Let's see the report. They were destroyed. Then produced the copies. Likewise. All talk. Stop wasting our time. Let's get on with business. Your stalling tactics will not work. Monsieur, you are the one stalling, not us. We are under your control. Your attempts at being clever will get you nowhere. We have nowhere to go. We are defeated. We are at your mercy. So let us end this fiction that this is a conference. Let, let us call it for what it is, a uh, dictator. You're here to talk, not to dictate. Well, we'll see about that. What are your terms? After due consideration of a number of factors, we offer the following terms. One, Germany will cede the control of the Saar to the League of Nations to be administered by France. Mr. Moore, the population of the Saar is mostly German. As compensation for losses sustained by France during the war. Already I detect the rancid odor of injustice. No, not injustice, fairness. Now, may I continue? Oh, please do. Second, Germany will cede all of her overseas colonies. Yeah, take them. They were proving to be burden anyways. Now, they're your problem. Third, Germany will transfer all capital warships to the victorious powers. You wish to continue to blockade Germany and starve the German people with our own ships? How cruel. No, so that Germany no longer can use the oceans to threaten the peace. My dear sir, that image is strictly a product of your imagination. It was the British Navy that posed the greatest threat to peace, not Germany's. We had no quarrel with your country. We wanted to promote trade. Britain wanted to retain control of the seas to isolate us. So unfair and so unnecessary. That's what you say now. Your country couldn't deal with the competition, and now you want to sub Germany dry. Like more, sour, more sour grapes. No, bitter grapes. What do you want us to do? Start begging for forgiveness? Stop the theatrics. Let's proceed. Fourth, Germany will demilitarize the Rhineland and agree to permit Allied troops to occupy that area for 10 years. Hey, General. Now the game is really getting serious. Just as I had feared when the armistice was announced, we still could have won. We were prepared to launch another offensive. We could have taken Paris. Sir, your comments are based on a fantasy. You're decisively defeated. Accept no, I will never accept it. We were defeated by traitors and fifth columnists in Berlin who hated their country and did everything in their power to sabotage the war effort. And after they succeeded, they sent us here to endure this humiliation because they lack the courage to come here themselves. Now you want to dismember Germany? Not only kill us, but mutilate us? Your cruelty knows no bounds. As a soldier, I feel outraged. Gentlemen, let me remind you that Rhineland is sovereign German territory against which you can make no valid claims. To impose an army of occupation would be a serious affront to the German people. But it could have serious long-term political repercussions. Your government must see to it that such repercussions do not develop. 
And he attacked by our government to incite the people and invite a military response. So you would have your soldiers fight helpless civilians? No, only the ones who are armed and disturbing the peace. Well, if you think the German people will stand for such humiliation, then you do not know the German people. To the contrary, we know them all too well. That's what brought us to this place. Fifth, Germany will disband its army and replace it with an internal security defense force that in size will not exceed 100,000 men. I guess that puts me out of a job. Now you're rendering us defenseless. And why? To ravish us is a start it's the start of a feeding frenzy with Germany as, as the living carcass. You brought all this upon yourselves, for which you must bear full responsibility. The French people demand no less. And the German people will never forget. Nor the British people. Sixth, German, Germany will cede parts of Western Prussia to Poland. Oh, outrageous. You're spreading Germany into fragments. You are dismembering my country. Let me remind you that those regions have been German for almost 1,000 years. This is gross injustice. More, no more of an injustice than when Germany forced France to cede Alsace Lorraine. Well, that was different. The majority of the residents in Alsace Lorraine were German and wanted to be part of the Reich. The Germans will be at the mercy of the Poles. God help them. You and your so called right to national self determination, all is sham, pure hypocrisy. You want to destroy Germany. No, we do not. But certain adjustments have to be made to ensure that the treaty does not fail. Seven, regarding the matter of Alsace Lorraine, Germany will transfer Alsace Lorraine back to France immediately and unconditionally. No surprise there. Well, you could not defend on your own. Now you force us to return with the help of your friends. Uh, four against one. What is Germany prepared to see from Italy? We'll get to that later. Right now, other matters must be attended to first. Hope you understand. Why are you treating Italy so shabbily? Italy made sacrifices too. We demand compensation. Why should France and Poland and whoever else receive preference over Italy? Are we not allies? Am I not a part of this conference? Yet yeah, I am forced to remain silent. Well, let me tell you something, Monsieur. The Italian people will not forget this. Italians are a proud people. We are, the, we are the descendants of the greatest empire builders in history. Do not take us for granted. Italy is no backwater country. Please do not forget that. Monsieur, I warned you earlier to stop your whining. Italy will get what she deserves. <coughs> now, let me continue. Eight, Danzig will become a free city under the supervision of the League of Nations. You're even taking Danzig? Does the humiliation ever stop? What have we done to warrant such callous treatment? You started a war! We did not! Yes, you did. Germany is at fault. How can we expect to be treated fairly when you take it upon yourselves to be plaintiff, judge, and jury at the same time? Right now you have Germany at disadvantage, but things change. That's exactly the outcome we, that we wish to avoid. Things changing for Germany. We want to avoid a repeat of the events that produced the war. We cannot tolerate a militaristic Germany. One war was enough. Let's do what we can to avoid another. What say you about this, Philip? Mr. President, wiser words have never been spoken. I just hope that the other parties at this table heed your advice. Though, I doubt that will be the case. Mr. President, you seem like a reasonable man. What exactly do you want from Germany? Assurances that you will not rearm and choose the path of peace. Speaking as a soldier, I, I don't want to fight anymore. I hate war. But by punishing us, you make it harder for us to want to cooperate. You are making it harder on yourself. Germany proved that it cannot be trusted and that its assurances are worthless. You fooled us in the past. We will not be fooled again. I'm an old soldier. But, sir, you have a hardening of the heart. I feel sorry for you. So much anger and bitterness. It saddens me. I don't need your pretentious expressions of concern. Be concerned with yourself, not others. My personal issues are mine alone and are not open to discussion here. So I would appreciate it if you would keep your personal thoughts about me to yourself. I did not mean to offend you. If I did, I apologize. I see what you're doing. You're trying to win my sympathy. You're wasting your time. Quit it now. 
Can we be at least be civil with one another? Unless you remind us? We are being civil. That does not mean we have to treat you as friends because you're not. Technically, the war is still going on and we're enemies. Let's not forget that. Maybe later, after all this negotiating is done and the dust has had a chance to sell, but now it's not the right time. Well, we don't expect to be treated as friends, but neither should we be treated as with scar. We will treat you in any manner as we see fit. Thank you. Now let's get back to business. Ninth, Germany will cede northern Schleswig-Holstein to Denmark, the Holstein district to Czechoslovakia, and Memel to Lithuania. Uh, you are slicing of Germany like a gutter peg. You are cannibals. You have no cause to complain. These are just minor border adjustments. The bulk of Germany is left intact. And, and in much modern age, population and wealth. It's so unfair. Tenth. Germany will accept full responsibility for having started the war and pay $15 billion in hard cash for reparations for damages caused. Even the defeat of Berlin will never agree to such an outrageous demand. Is there any room for negotiations? None. Either agree or accept full responsibility for the consequences of what will follow. You have a slight throat, and now you want to make the Germ you want to make Germany destitute. You are like thieves with a gun who are pleasing their victim for every penny he has. You have no shame. Let me assure you that Italy is fleecing no one. Please remember that. It is exclusively <coughs> they who are beneficiaries. Germany makes concessions and Italy gets nothing. Same with the United States. We bear no grudges against Germany, nor do we want to create conditions that will cause Germany undue hardship. The American people want this treaty to succeed. And if all parties show goodwill, we believe that can happen. We fought this war to end all wars. Let us stay faithful to that place. End scene five. There will be a uh, brief intermission. <laughs>